Hey, it's Lindsay with the Glitter Sticks. If you want to see how I made this super easy and fun clipboard using fast set epoxy and UV resin, just keep watching. I'm starting with this acrylic clipboard that I got off Amazon. I'll be sure to list and link all the products I use down below. I'm using um, Movulus by Glitter Chimp, Rose Gold Goddess by It's Pretty Personal, and Aurora from Glitter Chimp. I'll also be using Fast Set Epoxy by Counterculture DIY. I'll be starting this project off by working on the back side of the clipboard to place my glitter. Due to the shiny surface of the acrylic, I'm going to be scuffing up the back side with a 220 sanding grit block. Lightly sanding this will allow a better surface area for my epoxy and glitter to adhere to. Now that the backside of my clipboard is completely sanded, I'm going to be cleaning off any dust and debris with 91% alcohol and a lint-free paper towel. Once that is cleaned off, I'm going to start in with my fast set epoxy. I'm using approximately 5 mLs. I probably could have used less, but since I'm using a chunky glitter mix, I wanted it to lay flat, and using a little bit more ensures the glitter will lay flat against the clipboard and not give me any problems. I'm spreading the epoxy all over the backside with my gloved hand, making sure to get even good coverage. Now for the fun part, laying the glitter down, I'm starting with Aurora from Glitter Chimp, which is a mix of fine and chunky glitters. I'm sprinkling this all over to use as a transition color and give more depth to my ombre. I like to hold the bottle 12 to 16 inches above my clipboard to get a nice testing of glitter, and it doesn't get heavily concentrated in one specific area this way. I'm going to be starting my ombre with Movulus from Glitter Chimp. Starting at the bottom of my clipboard, I'm going to apply a generous coating to get really good coverage over the top of that Aurora, and then slightly tilting the clipboard at a downward angle while raising the bottle to get a lighter cascade effect with the glitter will help blend out this ombre. Now I'm switching to Rose Gold Goddess to glitter the top of the clipboard. I'll do the same thing that I did before by laying the glitter on thick and then tilting the clipboard and raising my glitter bottle to help blend the two colors together. I am far from perfect at doing a glitter ombre, but what I have learned is that you just keep blending by lightly dusting the two colors together until you get it to look how you want. I'm going to go back in with the Movulus here to blend out any harsh lines. I'm making sure to hold that bottle really high so the glitter doesn't collect in one spot. The higher the bottle is, the greater the dispersion area is, and then the better the blend will be. That is looking so much better and I am absolutely loving this color combo. Once I'm satisfied with how my glare is looking, it's time to seal. I'm using Rust-Oleum Matte Clear. You could use any clear spray with any type of finish because once the epoxy is applied over it, the shine comes right back. I let the clear matte spray dry for about 30 minutes and now I need to make sure the clipboard is level to apply my first coat of fast set epoxy. I'm using this mini level that I got when I purchased my bone turner. I love this thing. I use it all the time. I'm also using popsicle sticks to stack underneath the clipboard to help make it level. If I didn't do this, the epoxy would just slide and pool on my work surface, which would make me super sad.
I'll be covering the glitter with Fast Set Epoxy from Counterculture DIY. I'm starting with 20 ml of epoxy. I don't want to tape off the edges of my clipboard because that sounds difficult and messy and I foresee random pooling and dripping and mess happening. So I've decided with um, the Fast Set Epoxy I can just do two thinner coats and skip the taping altogether. I'll be using my gloved hand to spread the epoxy all over and using less epoxy gives me more control over managing drips that might happen. The epoxy should really soak into the glitter on this first coat. Um, so the first coat will be rough, but the epoxy dries in two hours, making it easy to apply the second coat and having um, a crystal smooth finish without a long wait time. Because you know, who doesn't love some instant gratification when crafting? or as close to that as we can get with epoxy. Once the epoxy is nicely coated all over the clipboard, I'm gonna hit it with my torch. I wanna make sure that I'm moving my torch really quickly over the clipboard so that it doesn't um, burn and cause like a weird wrinkle with the epoxy. All right, so the clipboard has been drying for two hours. I actually timed it because since this is my first time using the Fast Set Epoxy, I wanted to know if it really is that fast. It does feel a little tacky to the touch, but it is dry. I think it completely cures in 24 hours. I'm totally fine with it being tacky since it will help the second coat adhere really well when it's applied. I'm also sanding lightly with a 220 sanding block just to knock down any of that chunky glitter that's poking out. I have my clipboard nice and level and I'll be going in with my second coat of Fast Set Epoxy. I'm using 30 ml which should give me a nice shiny finish. I'll be applying with my gloved hand and making sure to manage any drips because once again I'm not going to tape this off. If I did get any drips on it, um, they can easily be removed with a craft knife once it's dry. Now that I have this set up um, level and ready to dry, I'm gonna hit it with my torch again just to pop any bubbles so that I have a really nice smooth finish. I always make sure to move my torch really quickly over my epoxy because I have burned it before and it sucks when that happens. Okay, so it's been two hours since I applied that last layer of epoxy and it's looking really nice. I love the way the glitter looks from the front. The decal I'm applying on the front is actually my logo for my medical spa and I plan to use this clipboard there for my patients to fill out their forms, consents, etc. I really rode the struggle bus with this gold vinyl and actually had to cut it out twice. I have no idea where I purchased it from. I'm assuming Amazon, but it's so thick. I had to run it twice through my Cricut machine on premium vinyl setting. It's an absolute pain to weed. The black vinyl is from Cricut and will be the offset to the gold vinyl. Next up is matching the two vinyls together. I've done enough stuff with this logo to know it can be kind of a pain to get just right, so I actually cut the gold vinyl in half to make it easier to line up. I'm hand placing the tiny spa letters onto the black vinyl just to make the transfer easier. Now I'm placing the bottom half of the logo onto the black vinyl and just eyeballing it because who really wants to measure? Definitely not me. Speaking of not measuring, I'm going to eyeball my logo onto my clipboard and use the hinge method to secure it after deciding on placement. I lift up one side of the decal and clip away the backing, then place it down and remove the other side of the backing so that everything stays in place. Hopefully I don't regret uh, my decal placement. After that's nice and secured down, I'm gonna peel away my transfer paper. I didn't sand the surface, so it was pretty slick and the corner of the decal kept coming up. But once I got it to lay flat, the rest of the decal followed suit. I have a huge roll of this transfer paper, but I still love to save it because I can get about three to four more uses out of it. 
I'm just going in with my fingers to press down and make sure the decal is firmly secure and I don't have any huge wrinkles or bubbles. And I'm done. The decal is nicely placed. I'm happy with the placement. It's actually not terrible for eyeballing it. So good job me. Now it's time to apply the UV resin to the front. So I'm going to tape off the hardware with blue painter's tape and trim away the excess. I'm going to be applying my UV epoxy with a silicone brush tool. I want to make sure I have even coverage so I don't have to do multiple coats. This part is time consuming and I could have used fast set epoxy, but since I'm not taping off around the edges, I wanted to have more control to avoid drips. UV resin is thicker to work with and once it's done curing, it's done, which is really nice. I use my overhead light um, and look at the clipboard from multiple angles just to make sure that the UV resin is nice and smooth and everywhere I want it to be. If for some reason the UV resin happens to fall off the side, I can use a baby wipe um, or some rubbing alcohol on a cloth just to clean it up before I cure it. I'm going to use my Harbor Freight heat gun to heat up the UV resin and help it spread out. Then I'll reevaluate and see if I need to add more UV resin to fill in any missing spots. The heat gun also helps with getting rid of bubbles. Now it's time to cure. Um, this clipboard is much larger than my UV lamp, so I have to do it in sections and hold it up. The UV lamp has a two minute timer on the back and I just move it to the next section to cure after the timer goes off. And it's done. This is a really simple and easy way to make a personalized clipboard. I hope you enjoyed watching and make sure to like and subscribe.